What is Maker? One of the largest decentralized applications on the Ethereum blockchain, the Maker protocol was designed by a disparate group of developers and is governed by the MakerDAO. The MakerDAO is a decentralized autonomous organization made entirely of MKR holders from around the world. These MKR holders are able to stake their MKR tokens in order to vote on proposed changes to the Maker protocol, as well as ensure the efficiency, transparency, and stability of DAI. For all of its vast differences, holding MKR is somewhat similar to owning stock in a traditional company, in the sense that the shareholders have a say in determining how the company functions. The Maker ecosystem was one of the first DeFi projects to achieve significant success, a testament to the effectiveness of truly decentralized governance. How does Maker work? The Maker protocol generates new DAI through smart contracts known as Maker Vaults. These contracts can be created through various different web IDs and apps that essentially act as portals to access the network through. When a user wants to retrieve their collateralized crypto from the smart contract, they must first pay back the DAI they generated along with a stability fee. The MKR token can also be used to govern the Maker protocol. Proposals to be voted on take the form of a smart contract and can be deployed by any Ethereum address. The MKR holders community can then vote on which proposal they would like to pass. And the Ethereum address which receives more approval votes in the form of MKR is granted administrative access to make the proposed change to the Maker protocol. What are smart contracts? First coined in the 1990s by computer scientist Nick Schabo. They are types of computer code which digitally facilitates a business deal or other agreement between two or more parties by automatically executing when the pre-agreed conditions are met. As the code is stored on the blockchain, they are immutable and distributed, meaning that they can't be tampered with and their output is validated by everyone on the network. Who are the founders of Maker? The history of the Maker ecosystem went through various stages, the first of which was the MakerDAO. This was created in 2014 by Rune Christensen, a Danish entrepreneur and graduate of the University of Copenhagen. After studying international business and biochemistry, Christensen co-founded the recruitment company TriChina before moving into blockchain. DAI was officially launched on the Ethereum network in 2017, followed the next year by the formation of the Maker Foundation, an organization which aims to fuel growth of the ecosystem and is spearheading efforts to decentralize development. Christensen serves as CEO of the foundation while others on the board include President and COO Stephen Becker, who previously founded Qubit Capital, and economist Shafali Roy. Initially, Ethereum was the only asset that could be collateralized through Maker Protocol, with the DAI generated being known as Single Collateral DAI or SI. In 2019, the MCD system was implemented, so today, any type of Ethereum-based asset that has been approved by the community of MKR holders can be deposited. What makes Maker unique? Maker offers its community of MKR holders the unique opportunity to directly participate in the governing of DAI, one of the most popular stable coins on the market. They can use their MKR tokens to vote on the following types of proposals. Which new cryptocurrencies to add as collateralized assets to mint more DAI? Altering the risk parameters of those cryptocurrencies. Making changes to the DAI savings rate. Choosing the oracles. Upgrading the system. The voting power of each user depends on the size of their MKR stake. Risk parameters. Once an Ethereum based crypto token has been approved as collateral for the Maker Vaults. The community must decide on specific parameters for its risk. These are determined by the asset's risk profile and incorporate the following. Debt ceiling, the maximum amount of debt that can be created by particular types of cryptocurrency assets. Once this value is reached, no more DAI can be minted by that vault until some or all of the debt has been repaid. Stability fee, a fee that must be paid in order to retrieve collateral from the smart contract. It is an annual percentage yield calculated on top of how much DAI has been generated. Liquidation ratio, 
This value reflects how much market price volatility the maker DAO expects of the cryptocurrency asset. Liquidation penalty, a fee added to the value of a vault's debt if liquidation occurs. If a vault is deemed too risky based on these parameters, it is liquidated through automated auctions. What gives maker value? Maker's value is derived from its utility as a DeFi governance token. The power to vote on how DAI is managed drives demand for MKR, therefore influencing change in maker price on the market. Although MKR tokens don't pay dividends, the value of MKR is expected to appreciate in correlation with the success of DAI. How many maker coins are there in circulation? MakerDAO initially launched with a supply of 1 million MKR tokens. There is currently a circulating supply of around 902,000 MKR with a market cap of over 2.1 billion US dollars. However, the total supply of maker tokens, and therefore their value, varies depending on market prices and conditions. If cryptocurrencies stored in a maker vault smart contract suddenly drop in price, they may no longer have sufficient value to collateralize the generated stablecoin, leading to a liquidation. In the case that the die raised in the auctions is not enough to cover the vault's obligations, new MKR tokens will be minted. If, on the other hand, it is the case that more die than necessary is generated, it's used to buy back maker tokens and burn them. The total supply of MKR changes dynamically, thereby affecting its price, while DAI stays pegged at $1 used. Other Technical Data Maker price hit an all-time high of 3,100 US dollars on the 5th of February 2021, when its market cap reached more than 2.8 billion US dollars. Maker currently enjoys a 0.13% market dominance and is ranked 49th by market cap. How to use Maker? The main utility of Maker tokens is for voting on the management of the protocol and die. Each MKR token equals one vote when locked in a voting contract. Users commit their maker tokens to a proposal, with the outcome being decided by the number of MKR tokens it receives. Maker tokens also have value as a recapitalization resource because MKR supply can increase if system debt exceeds the surplus. This incentivizes maker token holders to avoid excessive risk taking and govern the maker ecosystem responsibly. Maker price is fairly volatile, so MKR isn't generally used as a means of exchange, but some people may choose it as a speculative investment.